beloved in christ i heartily welcome you to this glorious awesome and blessed day the lord has my part for your greatness yes attest hit and claim it hit your hands on your chest and claim it that this day the lord has blessed me in all your endeavors in your going out and your coming and because for you to stick out your busy schedules to seek the face of god is what enough referencing yes beloved you being here is not an accident it's an opportunity so utilize it for your greatness and while listening on the same one and what god has for you please endeavor to finish it to the end so you get him all the things because it's not good to listen halfway yes it's good to finish it because everything that has a beginning has an end i always tell tell us this so do very well to finish it to the end so you know how to apply this word of god and we know we, we didn't know it all yes we didn't so we don't have it all i think we have it all we will not go to screen we will not engage in one or two things in order to be enlightened so you being here is a great opportunity so god bless you as you hear to the word of god you know our goal implementing it in our lives okay that is our priority and that is our goal so while listening try to compare and contrast what and how you make this a living flesh in your life all right our topic says to not be anxious okay we all know what anxious is all about yes anxious will mean a lot yes and our memory verse okay we they can appreciate it more so we get to know the full knowledge of what our topic is all about remind remember our topic says do not be anxious of nothing you need not to be anxious you need not to be overwhelmed by the things of the life of life what is expected of you our memory by the lord has given you an endurance assurance of how to keep your faith and your hope going let's dig in to a memory verse okay all right our memory verse is taken from the book of philippians 4 verses to 7 which says be careful for nothing but in everything be by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto god and the peace of god which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through christ jesus beloved you get it memory verse now and we know that there is every answer yes to our prayers and there is every reward of what we are practicing in our lives yes every word every practice practicalizing everything we practicalize here on it is probably back up so you need to be practicalizing the word of god why practicalizing you know when you're practicing it and you don't have a backup something that is giving you that is giving you confidence when you're doing it you know that mm, i'm doing this when someone is struck or hits you why are you doing this? You know what to answer the person. That is why we are here. That is why the word is of God is always to our disposal. So we can accumulate, yes, anticipate in it and work it out. That is why the word has come to play in our life. So we need to give our own divided attention. So why the word is coming? You listen very well and know how to work towards it. God bless you, good bravo, you deserve the best, beloved. All right, do not be anxious. What is anxious? Being just like it's synonymous with worry. Yes, why anxious is just like we are in the world of yes, anxiety has taken this whole space of the day that's taking the whole world anxiety. Yes, we are living in fear, we are living in anxiety we want to know what god has for us but that is why he said in his word he only know the plans he has for you says the lord the plans to bring about prosperity in all the stuff but the plans to bring about the future you hope for for he said he has not given you spirits of fear or timidity but the power of love and his sound mind beloved yes he has not given you the spirits of fear so what you need to do is fight your fear yes face your fear and emerge victorious beloved face your fear and emerge victorious how will you face it how will you face this 
dangerous and intimidating world okay beloved here is the story what are you doing at the moment we all are curious at what the world has for us the way i am to see i was i'm very aspiring to be a better person like i never knew that this year four years to come i'll still be like this yes and you will be anxious anxiety has eluded and overwhelmed you but what you need to know is what needs to keep you going the word of god is why is it be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and petitions with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god all right beloved and the god who gives peace of mind yes who surpasses all the stand will guide your heart and your mind in christ jesus beloved all right what we need to do in every situation that elude that comes to play in your life what you need to do is just to take care of it yes embrace it yes do you know dreams every dream that is shown mentioned to you yes spiritual battle is as a result it's not as if it's not come to play at all but how to be victorious in it because why that is being shown to you is for you to put it into prayer yes and practicalize it with a spiritual control physical when it comes to prayer now put it into practice by denouncing rejecting praying and cast out it in your life and not to surface not to take part in yes so how do you go about that is prayer that is why the bible says in do it in praying do not worry Prayer by prayer and petitions make your request. Not he said, seek and I will be seek, and you will find knock and the door will be open. Call unto me. When you call to him, he will come to you, and when you knock, he will open. When you seek, you will find. Yes, ask shall be given unto you, beloved. He that said all the things, whatever I hear you say that you do. He doesn't just come in at the blank. No, 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 no. It's how you build your faith with God. That it's only how far and how your prayer will be. So in every challenges of life and that you find yourself in, be rest assured that the Lord has your back. And how will you know that the Lord has your back? Because he has created you for a reason. He plans his plans for you is of good. Not a sister, but to bring it to an expected end. So why do we <laughs> indulge in fear? Yes, why do we indulge in fear? Because fear has taken many lives. Yes, anxiety. What is the future map of? What is God saying? What is God saying? Is well, many of us seek attention, seeking for places in order to to look for miracles. Yes, but you can still make things happen, beloved. You can, but you just our time we are the lazy in around we don't use that gift god gifted in us to work it out when you believe in yourself that you can make things work you just stick to it working just take the grace of god what you need to do is just stick to the lord pray tell him to show you fast then you see his direction will keep directing you keep doing things unimaginable the world will like whoa is it a skill? Is it that is it we can still make things happen in our life? But our inability to consider and to be steadfast and we can pray now. Yes, we need someone to pray for us. That's why we seek the help of this da 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 beloved. You can make it happen. All you need to do is just be still, be calm, and know that he is the God. When you're still and calm, what is expected of you is to pray. Lay your supplication. No matter how you pray, the Lord will answer you. You keep doing that every day and every time. You don't know how to pray. He will design you for prayer. I'm speaking from experience, beloved. He will channel you and he will give you the mood of prayer. And always seek yourself. Fellowship with others. Go to a believing church. That will build up your faith. Dedicate your time reading. Meditate. Read the word of God, read scriptures, read every handbook that is pertinent to the word. The evangelists are out there having they are sharing all their books out there. You any book you find yourself, you have it that has been, been keeping me going, beloved. Study the word of God. That should be your priority. And why study? Then you know how to pray and how to direct your prayer so your prayer will be effective like Jabez. We all know that he suffered through pain. The mom named him Jabez, which is synonymous with what? Pain. And that is not even enough. After the pains and all that, he started, the mom has given birth to him and he's no more to be found. But the little boy, the guy, the boy itself, which is Jabez, 
he's the one suffering and taking the cause. But what really happened? He find out that he can do this alone, if not for the strength and the power of God, because he know he's God, and he said the face of God for deliverance. He said, "Oh Lord, I pray for you to enlighten my territory, my coast, oh my brother, beloved." And he prayed out like he cried out. He prayed. That doesn't even. It's not for a day prayer. And he prayed for deliverance, he prayed for breakthrough. And what really happened? It wasn't to be compared. God answered him. That is why we need to pray. Many of that in the scripture. Jehovah suffered and his people. When the enemy wants to elude their city, they want to terrorize, they want to take what belongs to them. What really happened? He summoned everybody for prayer. Everybody come to seek the face of God. They fasted. Our Heavenly Father start using one of them as a mouth speak to others in order to guide them. Beloved, you're here for a reason and you don't know why you're here. You are precious on the sight of God. So you don't need to be always anxious. When the situation of life seems to be impossible, beloved, go to God in prayer. It doesn't matter how long and how far. It matters how serious and how dedicated and you and how serious you've taken it up to yourself that this fight the lord will answer because you have no other person except your maker beloved that is the key way that is your director that is your providence yes without god you can make things happen so beloved you can attest why is why i said we should always read the scripture because the scripture will help us on how to pray and when you pray then it will come to free pray along with the promises of God. When you pray, you fast. When you fast, you pray and you see Him because you can go with Him. You can have close communication without being on the Spirit because He is a Spirit. Okay, for you to be able to dialogue with Him, you need to fast. And while fasting, ask always be led by His direction. Don't just go with long fasting, try with small, then by small, by so doing, His Spirit will keep guiding you, directing you in the way to fast and how to become and how your prayer will become enviable and visible to the world and you will be a worth testimony to many. He will weak you will overcome by the blood of his life and by the word of your testimony. So beloved, he has given you everything he is assured in your life. So what we need to do is to take the shed of it, pray, fast, seek with supplication and thanksgiving. Lay your supplication, tell him what you really want, and it doesn't stop there. Keep reminding him, keep reminding because the problem will stand there. You keep seeing the problem, unless when that has come, then you know that a prayer has been answered. Beloved, we don't need to relent, you need to continue. So give thanks, always continue to thanks. But in everything you do, what is really important is thank him for the gift of life. Thank you for all he has been doing before now. Because when you keep thanking, you will do more. Because that he has started in your life, he will finish it to the end, beloved. So he created it for a reason, and you should know that. So he said, in every, do not worry. Do not be anxious of anything. But with praying and petitions, made it known to God. Or the others, translations say with praying and supplications. So let your supplication make a point tell him what you want and if that is not coming to play and you see the other way around you see oh, oh because what you need might not be good for you at the moment but he will give you that eyes so when it's not forthcoming don't feel like don't be dismayed yes because he has a good plans for you that is what the bible say he alone know the plans he has for you so always do the word of god he said call on to me i will hear you i will show you things you know nothing about when you call to him, then he will open your eyes and you'll be able to see. Stop seeking solutions elsewhere because you have it before you. Yes, you can pray and make things up, beloved. What you need to do is just the faith. Believe in yourself that you can make it and dedicate. We need we all are anxious of quick, 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 and we end up killing ourselves. Yes, we end up things we have will be taken. But you don't know the gifts you have will be taken by unknown source because by the fruit we shall not everybody that call him God, God is really his servant. Beloved, we need to know this. So, beloved, do not be worried for anything because he is always with you. So, what you need to do is just build yourself for God, work it out by yourself with trembling.
fear then you'll be able to attend face your fear fear will come just face it and you see yourself in mind victorious tell him to give you the grace to fight your battle the way he give orders the earth same will he give you he will bring your enemy to their room so beloved bravo good luck as you implement dedicate do it as a believer when you believe you are not called a believer um, by bare mouth, by bare lips. No, you are not a believer by bare lips. So you need to participate in it. So participating in the world of God is <laughs> invoking the miracles of our Heavenly Father in our lives. And we do all this. May God give us the grace to walk it out through Christ our Lord. Amen. We okay, will be hanging on this far to see you in my next video. Do very well too. All is tuning. Stay tuned, okay? I still remain the daughter of Zion. Enjoy for it. God bless you. Good. Bye for now.